today I thought I'd go for my little run and see if anyone's got any Halloween decorations up. Um, hello, by the way, ADHD adults, whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you're well. Right. Let's get ready. All right, let's get going. Get out of the estate. Let's see what we can see. Okay, that's pretty cool. There are a lot of carved pumpkins out already. I'm guessing giant spiders and cobwebs are the in thing this year. Or well, they're on sale somewhere. Yeah, definitely the end thing. Let's go and get one. They've got their Christmas lights up. Probably from last year. I would not want to live next to this road. <laughs> That's pretty cool up there. Oh, there's another one. Do you guys say hello or good morning to people? Whenever I go out running or walking, I always say hello, morning, whatever to people. If I see a runner, I high five them. And most of the time, I get a good response. I just wondered if you do it because sometimes I think that if I didn't speak first they wouldn't have bothered you know wow that's pretty cool I need to get home and uh, up my Halloween game. And get out of this slightly dodgy estate also.
Okay, I've stopped. I'm just walking back. I'm quite near home now. I'm just walking back because my knee hurts because I'm old. Um. <clears throat> There's James and his crew. I always give them presents at Halloween, Christmas. Today they got some beer and some sweets. Because these guys didn't stop through COVID. Did not stop. While we were all cowering inside, shitting our pants and washing our hands, they were still out picking up our shit. So back in COVID, I started leaving them, you know, beers and gifts, edible gifts. <laughs> so, now that I've calmed down a bit, I can talk. The actual reason I was making this video today, obviously it was come for a moment with me, but I needed to talk some stuff out of my head. Uh, I own a business and increasingly it's felt like it's not my business, you know? I do all of the work, do all of the admin in the background, pay for everything and invariably don't get to go in. And then when there is an event, like a, on Sunday there was a special event at uh, His Majesty's in London which I organised and blah blah blah, I couldn't go. And yeah, and I'm not moaning because I have to look after my daughter, that's not it. It just makes me think, A, what is the point? Why am I bothering? And B, it's really stressful for me because I feel like I have no control whatsoever over my business and therefore over my life. I, uh, I bust my nuts going through red tape and doing admin to get these things done and just to keep the business running um, and that's all I do I just feel invisible I just make money for other people and I bring the money into the home which I should and, and that's it that's all I am I, you know there is no me anymore I have no hobbies because I have no time to do them I get to do a run for 20 minutes, 30 minutes sometimes, that's it, I, you know, what am I, what am I doing, uh, and so and Sunday and yesterday it's kind of come to a head, I've kind of started to shut down, I can't, I'm at home, it's half term, I, I should be happy and having a good time, and I am happy, but I can't properly function. I'm just stressed and worried about I don't know what. And considering my future, you know, considering whether I should sell this business, and start again, or, but if I sold it, what would I do? Where would I go and what would I do? It's hard. Here we go. Morning. Morning. Now, would they have said good morning if I didn't? I don't know. Possibly. I'm back. Is my head clearer? Maybe. Am I cured? No. <laughs> Will I ever be? Yeah. If I ever was, no one would recognise me. Because I'd be so different. The vlog is over. <laughs>